Hey everyone, I hope you have had a great last couple of weeks of July. Me and the family were away on vacation but are glad to be back. It's also been a great last couple of weeks to reflect on the idea of loving people by eating with them, dropping something off for someone, praying for them, uh, tangible ways to show love and care to people around us. If we keep doing this, the ripple of God's love will keep going from here to every part of Fort Erie and to the ends of the earth. That is something that we want to see spread. As we move into our next month of summer, we want to keep discovering love, practical ways that God showed us through Jesus' life to love and care for people by these five love languages that Dr. Gary Chapman discusses in his book, The Five Love Languages. Let's continue to find ways to make spots available at the table of God because everyone belongs. There's plenty, plenty of love, plenty of care, necessities. It's through our generous living and the spirit given by God that we can live our lives. Next week, your Village Church leadership team will be meeting again to discuss and pray together about our next steps in this reopening process. We want to be sure to move forward, not only in ways that promote safety, but also in ways that God is guiding for the opportunities that we see and the opportunities that lay ahead. Please pray and um, persevere in this time and move in the ways that God guides. I've been playing pool for over 50 years. I also collect pool memorabilia, like books and videos and postage stamps and coins about playing pool or pool players, matchbooks, miscellaneous memorabilia, a little toy pool table. Uh, there's a picture of Mike Massey, a Christian pool player. I've played a lot of tournaments in my life, and I've won a few. I guess I've won my share. I enjoy the game very much. <clears throat> but uh, you ask me how my faith plays out while playing pool. Well, I'm going to tell you. I think that everything you do should be God-honoring. That means you play with honesty and integrity. What you say should be honoring to God, even what you drink or don't drink. And I also believe you should preach the gospel all the time and occasionally use words 